Hi hey everyone, we're in a slightly different office today, but uh, uh, today we're going to be looking at a product which has got a retail price of roughly 110 UK pounds. Today we're looking at the Sandberg Active Solar Charger 21 watts, which has got two USB sockets and a USB-C socket on there. We did start filming this actually outside in, uh, well, the countryside. Unfortunately, a farmer decided to come along and muck his fields and was making a right racket uh, as well as smell. So, uh, unfortunately, you'll see some of the B-roll done outdoors but the actual review we've done indoors so you can actually hear what we are saying so here we go so as i said it tells you what it is there so it is a solar charger so charge your devices by sunlight built-in battery for um, stable power so what happens is basically you stick this out in the sun it charges the battery inside and then your devices can be charged uh, plugged into that battery even when it's not outside because it's charged up already um, and it will charge your devices up so for example phones and what I found was some of my camera equipment like my spare batteries and my microphone stuff like that which need a uh, battery charge it would actually charge them pretty well it did charge my laptop through a USB-C cable as well but it was a really slow trickle charge so I wouldn't really advise it for doing that um, because it's only 21 watts most laptops are usually 45 watts and above but it was able to do it it probably took 10 minutes to get about a three percent charge so it was a bit slow but it did do it so let's open the box up so on the inside you can actually see the actual device there so it is folded up you can see on here showing someone using an iPad plugged into it, getting a charge and so forth, and all the connections at the top, as well as the battery charge level as well. On the front, as we mentioned, it's solar panel, USB Type-C, PD 18 watts, uh, USB-C, QC 3.0, fast and powerful. The battery is a 10,000 milliamps, so that's enough charge to charge you. Usually, I think iPhones and stuff are usually about three or four thousand uh, milliamps these days. So you could charge your iPhone two and a half times roughly, and probably a tablet fully up from just the battery in there. It's water resistant as well, so ideal if it just starts raining. But hopefully, you're not going to be using it out in the rain because you're not going to get much sunlight. But uh, uh, you should be all right. It's got four snap hooks included, so you can hook it onto things like a tree or a bar or whatever, um, so it can keep getting a charge. It's designed for outdoors as it says. The solar panel is made in the USA uh, and it's double quality checked with a five year warranty. On the back of the box, got all your different languages on there. Um, pretty much tells you what I've just told you in all the different languages. And then the sides, the bottoms, there isn't much there to see. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. You've got the manual which tells you how it works, which is pretty straightforward in all honesty. You unfold it, point at the sun, it charges up, you plug your phones and other devices in, and hey presto, uh, it charges them up. So that's pretty much it. So it does show you, you can also charge the battery pack up inside as well if you wanted with the included USB type C to USB cable, uh, which you'd need to plug into a mains pocket or a PC, uh, but you can um, pre-charge it up before you go out so you've got some charge just in case it is a dull day uh, and you've got battery levels and stuff on there um, it shows on the pictures like phones and tablets and stuff it doesn't show anything like laptops or anything like that because it's not really designed to do that uh, but it did in our case charge our uh, laptop via the USB-C cable uh, but it was a very slow charge so this is the actual device itself it's all folded up in a nice pocket so that's pretty good it does have some hoops on the end so you can um, hang it up in different places as well as on the lip there so it basically is it will unfold so it's basically three unfolds and then you've got your three big solar panels there which is pretty good so you've got a large surface area there for charging up so you, you should you'll struggle um not to get in a charge is probably the best way of doing it behind this bit which is velcro here you can pull there and open it up. Gives you some information like the model numbers and so forth just here. 
And then there's a little bag. Inside this bag area, you've got your hooks, so you can put these hooks on your different bits and hook it into place wherever you may be on the side of a, a boat or whatever, tree or whatever. You can tell I'm not too much of an outdoorsy person uh, other than going for a walk, but uh, that gives you a rough idea. You can hook it on things so you can get it in the right direction and make sure it stays open when it's charging. You can even put a hook on this little hole on the end here. This is your USB micro cable. This is, will allow it to charge. I did say USB-C a few seconds ago. It's a micro, not C, my mistake. I've mistaken the image on the picture. Um, so you plug that into this little battery pack here, which is there. Plug that into your PC or your PowerPoint, and that will charge up. So that's pretty good going. When you're outdoors and these panels are working, you'll find this little solar... Um, light here will actually light up and tell you um, it's charging and so forth uh, if you wanted to look. At the moment we've got 100% charge from when I went out earlier on with it. It charged it up fully without the need of plugging it into a PC which was pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it. So if you wanted to plug in a phone you've got two standard USB ports there as well as a USB Type-C there as well. Uh, as well as that micro for charging it up and you'd basically plug your iPhone, your iPad, uh, for example our battery packs uh, and our uh, microphone we plugged into these and it did charge them up um, which was pretty good so as long as you're basically charging stuff up which is under 21 watts then you shouldn't have an issue because that's how much power this can basically take in at a time so overall I'm extremely happy with this